I became a model railroader simply because I think for the love of my grandfather. It's pretty simple, really. He and I were very close. He was a, a railroader for 56 years with the Santa Fe Railway. Uh, as uh, he ended his uh, years as a switch engine foreman. And uh, his father was also a railroader, a boiler maker for both the Santa Fe Railway and the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, uh, now part of BNSF. Uh, railroading goes back a, a long way in our family and I was very close to my grandfather and I think it was just natural that uh, I began to associate what he did for a living with uh, the love I had for that man. Uh, I started out with a wind-up train very early in my life. Uh, I went from that to a uh, Lewis Marks and Company train, went from that to Lionel and uh, it wasn't long before uh, even in the Lionel days, I traded that in about age 10, 11, 12 for the beginnings of uh, uh, HO scale. So um, I think it, uh, it was part of the family business, really. Uh, model railroading has always been a part of my life ever since I was a, a little kid and, and continues to be. It's a, it's, a, it's a hobby that stayed with me for uh, 60, 70 years. Trains.com has been extremely useful to me for many reasons. Uh, I must say the archives are one of my favorite things because even as those early model ra railroad magazines inspired me as a 10 and 12 year old, uh, the work of oh, long gone at, uh, authors like uh, Jack Work, uh, uh, John Allen, people like that. Um, I still go back to those issues to look at the quality work people were doing way back in time. It, it still inspires me. I can find articles back there that thrilled me uh, from the very beginning of the magazine uh, up to today. I don't keep all of the magazines, I don't have room for them, so you can find them digitally. Uh, and I find myself just scrolling through them sometimes to say, what did I miss on an issue I never saw before? I found something the other day in an issue from the 1950s, uh, an article about building um, a structure that I will probably use on a current layout. Uh, it was just so good even back then. I thought, oh, this looks great. It looked great in the 50s and it still looks great. Uh, you'll find great how-to videos, uh, many by uh, Jerry Leone, who's very accessible with great tips and techniques. Uh, a fine model railroader. Live streams uh, for uh, current events. Again, helpful things from the model railroader staff. Uh, as much as I know about this, there's always something new to learn. And the thousands of videos that they have are extremely helpful uh, because it's going back to the basics, how to do things, how to do them simply, how to do them quickly, and how to do them like the pros. So I find those, those videos very, very helpful on trains.com and a 24-7 webcam in the Kalmbach studios. Uh, so check us out. If you are a little hesitant about subscription, try the 30-day free trial.